Hey, it's me, Melissa. Thanks for requesting this cameo. There's so many great questions, and I'm gonna try to be brief, um, but I'm and answer as many as that I can. Um, my favorite scene to film with Katie, I think it was more of an episode that we had so much fun on. It was me. I can't remember what season or what episode. I'm sorry, but I remember I was wearing like a pink pantsuit, and we were all in Luther Corp, and it was Carolina and Eve, and we were kind of doing this like caper around Luther Corp trying to get out. That was so fun. I just remember that being a really hilarious time and us being really silly and having a great time with it. Uh, but I always had the best time with Katie. She's a dear friend of mine, will be forever. Um, she's the best. Ooh, the scene that I think was the most meaningful to their relationship was definitely the scene where Lena finds out that she's Supergirl. And I know uh, you say, was it as heartbreaking for you to shoot the reveal scene. I don't think it was heartbreaking for us because we kind of knew that that was coming from the, even from the time that Lena's character was introduced on the show. Like they told us, oh, this is gonna happen eventually seasons down the road. So it it was more like the inevitable was happening and finally we were just there. And I think that is the most meaningful to their relationship because it has so many of the colors of Superman and Lex, but they're obviously very different and much stronger, I think, than those two characters. I'm biased, <laughs> but because I know people love their Superman, but um, I think that their that Kara and Lena's reactions to that event in their relationship speaks so much more than what Lex Luthor how he behaves. Uh, and if I had had control over any storylines, I don't know if I would have done anything differently. You know, we were so lucky to do six seasons of the show, and I really feel like I got to kind of run the gambit. I loved when the show was topical. Like, in season four, I thought we got really political, even, and I I felt like our show was strongest when we leaned into that. Um, and I liked when we went really spacey, like Star Wars-y, when we would go to different planets or when we were on the Legion ship, like... I thought that stuff was so cool and and fun. Uh, and now that the strike is over, is there anything I want to pursue? Well, I have my production company, and I'm really excited about that and trying to get things off the ground with that. But, uh, you know, I'm just happy to be back at it, and we'll see what happens. Thanks so much for this sweet request, and I hope you're doing good. Hi again! I'm so silly and I didn't even realize until just now that it was <laughs> you again. The same, I'm silly. Uh, anyway, I'm happy to answer more questions. Um, you guys have great questions. Uh, but in terms of Supercorp's popularity influencing storylines, I we were aware of all of the fandoms. It was definitely, you know, like on everyone's radar. But I don't know, to be honest, because I wasn't in the writer's room. Um, I know on set we talked about how cool it was that so many people from so many different walks of life like identified in different ways like that's the beauty of art and Katie would always say that that like it's so much up to the audience's interpretation and even no matter what we did on set once it's in the audience's hands you know it's cool that people can relate to certain things that others won't or see certain things that others don't. So that was always really meaningful to us that certain people just felt seen in, in some ways. Um, so that was definitely like we, we saw you guys and, um, but in terms of the writing, I don't know how much they, I, 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 I wish I could ask a writer. I, I could text some of them. <laughs> I haven't talked to a lot of them in a long time, but, uh, I, and also like, I don't know you, I'm so lame and like, I, it took me years to even understand what a ship was cause I'm so old. And so a lot of it I didn't understand. And also I don't know, I'm like a terrible superhero and I, uh, didn't really read any other comics outside of Supergirl. <laughs> cause she's my favorite obviously. So I don't know the parallels, to Lois and Clark because I'm not familiar with that canon. But I but I also know that, um, you know, Greg Berlanti, uh, his, like, pinnacle is Superman and, and that's what he grew up loving. And we really liked the Superman Lex of it all um, and exploring, like, what it means to be good and what it means to be bad. And 
bad and evil and and how like sometimes being labeled a certain way like you you might even have like good intentions um but be labeled as um a villain that was a lot of what we were trying to explore i think with their friendship uh my favorite song that i sang on glee is new york state of mind it was my first and it was like a huge moment of my life and kind of a pinnacles change like pivotal um, moment for my career and uh so that's my favorite and i don't have any of my ceramic work with me i'm not actually in the place where they're all at and i'm I, they're at the studio that i go to um but I'm, i'll try to post more pictures because i do it once a week and i make a lot but i also give them a lot give a lot of them away uh and i'd love to do a psychological thriller especially a mike flanagan show one of my friends carla gugino is on them and she's incredible and and she just seems like she has the best time doing that and so yeah i would i would love to be a part of something like that and that would be really cool we'll see what happens now that the strike is over i'm back in the saddle auditioning so hopefully i find something cool to do all right take care <laughs>